Hey guys, we are joining you right now from Voodoo Donuts, right behind me, in Portland. So we're actually not in Seattle right now, we are in Portland, Oregon. So we have come here before and it is kind of an iconic place and we wanted to show you guys if you've never been here. So come along with us and we'll go inside. I just got the donuts. We got a half dozen and we're gonna show you what we got and we're gonna try them. We got the Portland cream and I wanted that because normally a Boston cream is my favorite and I want to see if there's any difference at all. And we got there one of their famous the maple bacon and we got a maple cream because I was curious about that and this one's a Butterfingers and then underneath the portland cream we have something called um the old dirty bastard <laughs> and basically i think it's oreos peanut butter chocolate i think that's mainly what it is and then what did we have underneath the maple cream oh yes yeah, so we got a blueberry a blueberry cake donut okay so let's try them we're gonna we're gonna try them all now <laughs> How about, let's just start with the most iconic, <laughs> the maple bacon. This is one of the ones that I've heard the most about, but I haven't actually tried it until today. Because the idea of bacon on a donut seems weird to me, <laughs> but I wanted to try it for y'all. <laughs> hmm. Surprisingly, it's not bad. The saltiness of the bacon kind of does complement the maple, because the maple's really sweet. So it's not bad, but at first the bacon does kind of hit you. It's not bad though. It's better than I thought it would be, but still maybe not my first choice. So now let's try another. Let's try. Let's stick with maple. So let's go with for the maple cream. It looks like they got a little face with a mustache. That's kind of cute. Let's try the maple cream. I'm not into the cream yet, so we'll keep going. Are you biting on the cream now? Barely. So I didn't I couldn't really taste it. One more bite. I think. There we go. Mm. Yeah. It's regular clean cream. It's just topped with maple. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Normally you have chocolate with cream inside, but this actually is pretty good. I'm kind of surprised more people don't have this. I haven't, I don't think I've seen this anywhere else, but it, it is, it is pretty good. So sticking with the cream filled, let's next go to the Portland cream. I'm mainly I want to see if this is any different than a Boston cream. Also, I like that they're pretty generous with their chocolate. Like they, I feel like they put a lot on it. <laughs> and these donuts are pretty big, like bigger than you'll usually get. Like if you go to a, a standard bakery or even like just to the grocery store. So I heard the girl in there say that both of the creams are Bavarian cream and it does taste like a Boston cream donut, but it is really good coming from here because they give you lots of chocolate. It is pretty big. So 
I definitely appreciate that. So let's move on. Let's try Butterfingers. Let's, let's have our first bite be this big chunk right here. Mm. Okay. So this entire donut down here is like chocolate dough. It was just a chocolate donut all the way through. And I guess this is just kind of like a regular white frosting and then you've just got powdered like Butterfinger crumbs. And I like it. If you do like the Butterfingers candy, I recommend it. You definitely like it if you like Butterfingers. So, now let's have our blueberry, the blueberry cake. Mm. I got this one because I am a fan of blueberry. Sorry. But this one, it actually tastes, it's probably the best one I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had the blueberry from here before. But it tastes a lot like a blueberry muffin. The consistency is like, it's a little bit moist, but I, I like it like that. Is and the texture like bagel? No, it's really soft. It like, like a muffin. It's like really soft and kind of squishy. And I feel like you can taste that these are like made with fresh blueberries, not like the little dried or, I don't know. They just, they taste, it tastes real. Like sometimes when you get a blueberry cake bagel or a blueberry muffin, it just like doesn't quite taste real. Like this kind of tastes like real. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. They must've used like fresh blueberries or something. It tastes good. I like it. So we have one left. The old dirty bastard. <laughs> Did they tell you where they got this name from? The name of the stone? I don't know, but they do have one called Dirt, and that one is just like, it just has Oreos on top. This one has like Oreos plus chocolate plus peanut butter. So maybe that's just like a step up from dirt, maybe their other donut. I'm guessing, I don't know. Like this one's like dirt plus more. And it was one of their bigger ones I, that I saw in there. So it's a pretty big donut. And I love Oreos, so I wanted to try it. Mm. You can immediately taste the peanut butter. Even though it's only like a little bit sprinkled on there, I really feel like I barely got any in that bite. But it's, it's strong. So if you're a fan of like a chocolate peanut buttery taste, this definitely tastes more like real peanut butter as opposed to the Butterfingers one. That tastes like a Butterfingers, but this is like, tastes like real peanut butter and chocolate. It's, it's, I like it. Mmm. Of all the donuts we got, this one is probably the richest. This is a pretty good donut. Like, this I think is the richest one of all the ones that we got. Thanks to the peanut butter. That probably puts it there. Along with just, there's so much chocolate. But it is good. So, that's basically it for today's video so what's the verdict what's your favorite 
Mm, that is a tough decision. <laughs> mm, normally, at any regular donut place, I would go with like the Boston cream type of donut, but it might be the Butterfingers. This one? It might be. I'm like, it's ha I'm having a tough time between the these two. I like them both a lot. <laughs> Well, do we have a tie? I think I do. <laughs> I don't know what your favorite will be, Mark, but he'll try them later. <laughs> and yeah, that's basically it for this video, you guys. Thanks for coming with us and sticking to the end and watching. And let us know if you're interested in coming here and what you think you might get, if any of these, or if you've heard of other flavors that you would rather have or maybe there's something that you've had here that we didn't get let us know because we've been here a few times we might come back in the future if there's something else you want us to try we'd be open to trying other flavors too that we didn't get this time and if you want to keep watching our content guys please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified of all of our future videos Thanks again for coming along with us and we'll see you next time. Bye.